Screech eagles, lions roaring, elephants trumpeting, if you're lucky, and the hyenas, of course, whooping, or even an elephant, uh, a, a leopard soaring. But roar right next to the car and then earlier to have the entire Ngama Pride and these males all roaring twice was spectacular. It sent shivers down my spine. Whew. The adrenaline is still pumping. It really is amazing. And there were also a lot, there's, I think there's going to be some territorial disputes because there were lions calling from all corners of the triangle during this too. So everybody's responding to the calls of the different prides. So I wonder where these boys are off to next. Now, the male on the right, uh, remember yesterday I said they looked like he, the one of them had a couple of scratches. Uh, it's a, this is the same male. And he's actually got two rather large wounds, one in his front left leg. Uh, you can't see it now, of course, because he's moving away. And then he also had another one on his right side. Uh, they look like bite marks, I would suspect. I'm just seeing if mm, I don't know if they're gonna roar again so soon. They're also not really hunting at the moment. The fact that they are being quite noisy means that they're probably on a territorial tr uh, patrol. They're marking their territories not only by using their voice, but they're also scent marking every now and then as well. Now, Julie, you're wondering if big cats purr? I haven't heard a leopard purr, I haven't heard a lion purr, but I do know they're cheetahs can purr and uh, it's quite an amazing sound it reminds me of a motorbike uh, I've heard it only twice but I have not heard the big cats the lions and leopards I don't think they can make that that's uh, scrub hair lucky scrub hair I don't think these lions would be too fussed about you there they are again off they go just casually strolling down on the road The only other thing that I can hear is some crickets, the odd frog every now and then, and the montane night jars. That do, 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 do. It's a little bit more high pitched than that. And off they go. Just waiting to see. <laughs> I was about to say, I'm going to wait to see if they're going to roar again. Never mind. He has stopped for a sleep, the tailless. Um, Quechua male, he's decided he's had enough walking around, he's just going to have a quick nap over there. And that's fine. Very cool. Maybe they're exhausted from all the roaring they've done already this evening. Oh, the male's not stopping, he's going. So I wonder where the third male lion is. I don't know where he could be. He could honestly be, uh, well, anyway. Maybe he decided not to hang around. Maybe he's still with the Angama Pride. Obviously, I didn't see all three of them this morning. I definitely saw two males, but it is hard to tell when they're so far away and also when the grass is so long. <sighs> Fast asleep. Amazing how you can just flop down onto the ground and go to sleep like that. I'm a little bit envious. Okay, well, let's let these boys carry on with their patrol. Let's go back towards the lionesses. They're still quite quite far away from us, but we'll go all the way back around and see what they're up to. They could have moved by now, too. Good to try it. Oh, I knew that was too good to be true. I thought I heard a lion roaring again, but it wasn't. Now, Pride Cat Mama, sorry, as I reverse here, wondering if all male lions have manes. And uh, no, we get maneless males as well. So, uh, it, there's definitely been quite a few cases of that being reported, whether it's just um, maybe a lack of testosterone. I don't know what would cause um, the lack of a mane. I mean, there's stories of lionesses with manes too. Too much testosterone. Okay, but let's go around. Lots of little midges, and they keep going up my nose. Ah, ticklish. Okay, a little bit bumpy here. So it's very difficult to try and drive and be on or on the radio and spotlight. It's um, not the easiest thing, especially when the roads aren't flat and you're having to constantly change gear all the time to go through some of these small depressions. It's not like we're driving automatics, we're driving manuals. Wow. 
now the earpiece is falling out that's always a winner okay we're gonna keep searching and hopefully we'll bump back into the angamas jamie's still with her lions let's go see what they're up to